Hello, folks. Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Dr. Groovy. Mm -mm -mm. This one's been bad today. No kisses. <laughs> Don't you hate it when your arm sometimes doesn't do what you tell it to do, so you gotta punish it. Okay, so it is Monday, the 20 something of February. 2014, what the day is, I don't know, 24th, 25th, something like that. Um, so today is part 7 of trading for the lessons. Um, again, I am disappointed in the uh, postal service. Check this out. Marked fragile, extra payment by priority mail, so I hope this is okay. But, so right away... Um, let's see if I can read a name. I can't read a name, but it comes from Maryland. Um, YLE. Anyway, you'll recognize your package. It says this side up, and it says fragile over on this side where it's all opened and bent and probably possibly broke. I hope not. But, yeah, there's your postal dollars at work, folks. Um, so I haven't opened up anything except for one that came here Saturday. Uh, here's another one. Priority mail, flat rate, insured, tracking. So, again, my wife, she's a postmaster at post office. And she gets sick of even working for them. She's ashamed to work for them people. <laughs> anyway, so all I've been doing lately, for anybody who cares, is putting together a guitar rig for the new band. So I decided, of course, I'm going to use the, one of the Johnson Millenniums. That's what I... I checked out all the other stuff, and that's what I'm going to use. So, since I'm just used to it, and break out the old... Uh, yeah, I'll take the wah with me, that... Um, whatever that guy's name is that has that red wah-wah pedal. <laughs> um... I'm not hip on guitar players, so you guys know better than me what that wah wah is. Something kind of dragon wah. And then I'm taking definitely the talk box because even though it's a country band, we're still doing <clears throat> doing a Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith and of course Rocky Mountain Way, Joe Walsh. And to not have the talk box there would just be wrong. <laughs> so I'll be taking all that stuff and leaving it in the. Uh, one of the couple band trailers that they have so those will no longer be here for me to mess with unless I buy extras so that's what I'm working on now Thursday is uh, rehearsal day and of course like I said I'll take the camera and the rehearsal and they'll just have to learn to deal with that I'm a shutter bug <laughs> I'm gonna invade their privacy and put their privates on TV okay so the thing I got Saturday which I thought I would wait till today just to um, and it's the only one that's open just to go ahead and toss in with everything else. Um, came from Nick from uh, North Carolina. And interesting stuff here. I got a couple different Canadian dimes. They actually have... I haven't seen... They're both Queen Elizabeth II, but two different poses on the front. First time I've seen a different pose. One shows her, The new, newer ones show her later in life, so I had not seen those yet. Very cool. And um, where's my other bill? I know my bill's in here. <laughs> because that one was just so cool. I made such a big deal out of it with the missus. And I hope you can see it. There it is. Okay. I'll show you the two foreign bills that were sent. This one from the Republic of Dominica. Dominican Republic. Um, I know the light out here isn't the greatest, but... Got my little waterfall over my shoulder here, but no, I'm not turning it on. Every time I turn that on, it makes me want to pee. <laughs> you know how, how that gets with the sounds. So 50, probably going to be pesos since it kind of says that. <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, so a very cool note. Almost looks like the, they put the uh, St. Louis Arch on top of that building. <laughs> That'd be a feat. Okay, now this bill is very interesting. I have to look this one up because it's cool. Um, this is a Romanian bill. As you can see, you can see through it. And you can see through it again over here. 
Okay, it's got a big fish on the front of it. You go on this side, it's got... There's the fish. <laughs> You're like, where's the fish? Believe it or not, that's either a fish or just an island that happens to look like a fish. Um, but yeah, it's covered in like wax paper. Very interesting note. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So yeah, you can see me with my little finger behind here. But so they could do the uh, see-through things. So how cool is that? Um, yeah, never seen anything like it. So that's one I have to look up just to learn about them. Gives me, again, more stuff to do, which I love. And the letter that came with it, very nice and short. Uh, Scott, um, just want to say thanks for doing what you do. Your videos are the only place I can get good information about guitars since the guys at my local music store are complete morons. <laughs> Looking forward to the lessons. So, Nick, um, yeah. Amazing how the most moronic people tend to be... Let me get this up here where we can see each other. Um, maybe may be bad for you because of backlighting. But, yeah, the uh, total morons are the ones who uh, open up the music stores and blah 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 and they just pass on the moronage to everybody else good I've got the uh, email address right here on the front too it's always nice for you guys to include your email address it makes me easier to find you on my list so thanks for the very cool um, foreign currency and coins um, again that one is wild looking man. I've never seen anything like it so um, I'm just gonna have a I'm gonna have a blast with all these thanks very much Nick and I'll yes I'll get all those lessons right to you and put a little less moronic stuff in your life for you <laughs> I want to open up the one that was so badly damaged it's I mean honestly just that's that's your post office people and don't think that UPS or FedEx is any better uh, if I should mention or not in all these years of buying selling trading guitars and all that um, it don't take much to get into that package now that it's like this. But anyway, every insurance claim that I've had to file for a broken guitar, it didn't matter whether it was the Postal Service, FedEx, UPS, DHL. Put it this way, in all these years, not a single one of those companies has ever, 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 ever paid an insurance claim. So if you're spending money on insurance, uh, you're wasting your money because <laughs> um, I've never once been paid back. I've had to take them all to court every single time, which I win every time, but it sucks to have a lot of money. Way to do that. What do we have here? Okay. We have something soft and fluffy. And we have two notes, and we'll finally get to see. Okay, it looks like it's from Kyle, C-Y-L-E. Okay, and again from... What's left of the box? Not much, dude. Look, really. Um, from... I told you earlier. Maryland. Okay, so... Yeah, you pay 12 bucks to ship something and it does that. Dude. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, I'm being fed again. I have um, the recipes here on exactly how to cook this stuff up. And we are looking at the... Um, oh my God, let me Is it Kutchen? K-U-C-H-E-N? Let me see. K-U-C-H-E-N. Yeah. So we're going to find out what it is together. Um, I'll open up the uh, bag. Where'd the bag come from? I always find the bags interesting too. Easy, super value. I am both of those things. The lessons are super value and I've always been easy. All guys are easy, I think. <laughs> All you car is... Well, a couple of legs and a heartbeat. Well, we don't even care if the legs are there. It's just 
a, a warm body next to us and we're generally happy. Okay. Okay, we got a couple bags. I'm gonna rip right into it, my friend. And a third bag. So it, I think it's safe to say that nothing got damaged. Ooh, this looks good. Are you serious? Dude. <laughs> oh, man. And it made it. It made it fine. And he, I remember this email. And he asked, and I mentioned chocolate chip, which is why it is like it. So it, it takes these things to remind me. But looky here. Just read. God, this smells good. Oh, holy crap, I'm going to get fatter. That is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this great? Mmm. My mercy. That was made with milk, eggs, wheat, and flour. Keep refrigerated, so I'll go put that in the fridge right after I do the videos. Awesome, my man. Thank you very, very, very much. Man, that's going to be good. I'm going to read the letter and get my um, instructions over here. Okay. And we got a handwritten letter. And he, the format that he likes to be sent. That's nice too, if everybody remembers to send whether you want PC or Mac downloads. Okay, the letter from Kyle here. Dear Scott, first of all, I would like to apologize for any rambling my mind tends to wander. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. <laughs> uh, thank you for the opportunity to make a trade with you. I have wanted to practice your lesson for some time now, but did not have the funds available to do so, which is exactly why we're doing this. So it's a, it's a great little program here, I think. I, I, I like doing this. My wife's actually like, man, you got so much to do. Why don't you go ahead and, you know, put a time limit on when, you know, how much of this you're going to do. It's like, I can't. I don't have the heart to take it back. There's, there's no way to stop it. I wouldn't do that to people. So I'm going to just run myself ragged and make sure everybody gets it. Okay. Um, I've been playing guitar for about 10 years now, I think. My guitar teacher was actually the music teacher at my school. He offered free lessons after and before school. I have him to thank for my obsession with guitars. I will be turning 20 on February 27th. Wow, happy birthday. It's a couple days away. And in my 10 years of playing, I've accumulated 21 guitars. Most of them are cheap, and I believe the most expensive is 600 bucks, but I am a person who believes you do not have to pay a fortune to have a great playing guitar. That is so true. About four years ago, I decided to build a guitar. Uh, my parents thought I was nuts, <laughs> but I pulled it off. Since then, I have built quite a few, some for me and some for family and some to sell. So about a year ago, I decided to try and make it a business. A lot of people seemed to show interest, but that was about it. So as of right now, not a whole lot is happening with that, mainly due to the fact that um, last June 1st I had a house moved onto the farm uh, where me and my parents live. Uh, we farm together. Uh, if you want to browse some of my um, creations, just go on Facebook and search uh, oh, Ben DeWald, Ben DeWald, B-E-N-D-E. W-A-L-D, guitars. I am hoping to start um, doing reviews and such on YouTube soon. Good. We could use more good reviews. That's for sure. Anyway, here's a little info about the kachin, the stuff we have right here. Kachin, kuchin, kachin, kuchin. Um, uh, kachin is German, means cake. But the kachin we have here is a little different as are the Germans here. You see, they migrated from Germany to the Ukraine, and the Ukrainians gave their land to settle on, 
or gave them land to settle on. The Germans farmed it and it was very good land. The Ukrainians saw this and wanted the land back. So the Germans migrated to America and many of them come from North Dakota and are known as German Russians because at the time the Ukraine was controlled by Russia. What all this has to do with the cushion is that as they moved they did not have a lot. So they invited some food from my understanding. They used a lot of dough, mostly German food served here is entirely dough. And somewhere along the line someone came up with a kutchen for dessert. Hope I'm pronouncing it right, kutchen, or you let me know. Um, that was me telling you, let me know. <laughs> uh, now here in Ashley we actually have a business called Grandma's Kutchen. So it probably has to be a derivative from kitchen, I guess. And that's the cell. Well, Scott, I don't have anything else to say, really, so I hope you're doing okay. And enjoy the kitchen. Sincerely, Kyle. And, of course, he has a last name, address, and all the good stuff. And it survived, my friend, so it's going straight into the fridge and then um, straight into my gut as soon as I can prepare it. So amazing. Thank you, and yeah, of course, I'll get all the lessons out later on tonight and be uploading all these videos, so, um, well, hell, they'll already have been uploaded by the time you see this. <laughs> okay, I have four more things here that came in the mail today. Um, let's see, Groovy, let's see what everything came to so I don't end up like I did last time and open up just some of my standard mail. And that's to Groovy, that's to Groovy, and that's to Groovy. Okay, so we have all things here. We have Dylan from Florida. Dylan has some leftover Christmas stamps. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get rid of them, dude. Okay, let me see how I can get in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I used to get those skin tags or mole-looking things on my neck. That's how I get rid of them. I just pull them out and just <laughs> save me a trip to the doctor. They bleed for a week, but hey, they quit after a while. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but no. There used to be a point where I wasn't fond of going to the doctor. Now I have to go all the time, so they just cut them off for me or burn them off anyway. But, yeah, I've actually cut many off with an X-Acto knife. Just... <laughs> Scraping off barnacles or what have you. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, that's me. <laughs> he drew a picture of me in pencil. That is too groovy, and it says Dr. Groovy on it. Dylan, that is cool, dude. Make sure I get everything here. Man, that is cool. So he had taken a picture, just put it on lined paper. This here's a this here's a scan and printed it. Okay, so it's just on lined paper. And took from that and then drew a pencil drawing of me. Now that is cool. Now that's that's a groovy gift right there. So he took it from here and drew a picture of the Groove Master. That is awesome, dude. And it's autographed, so just in case someday. Man, dude, that's cool. See, you can't get this stuff from... I can't get it from the grandkids. <laughs> Man, that's cool. We got some artists. We had Emma a couple days ago. And, wow. And he also... Dude, that's great. He sent some foreign currency as well. This one right here. here we go. Oh, the Bahamas. I went to um, Bahamas a couple years back. Went to the Atlantis uh, Resort there. Man, the place was... I'm sorry, but man, it was just right after a um, hurricane. But, you know, of course, the island was just ripped. And the only two places they keep nice there are the um, Atlantis and the uh, Sandals resorts, but everything else is just destroyed, major slum area, just gross, and I don't know why anybody would actually go there, but um, here's the bill from there.
But what was cool is when we got off the plane, just like in the movies, you know, you had your uh, locals all playing in a band right there in the terminal. As soon as you walk in the terminal, there's the band playing, you know, the island music and stuff. But that's very cool, dude. Thank you. And I have nothing from the Bahamas until now. That is cool. And you notice how they've adopted the same strips and so forth in their money. You know, as a U.S., I don't know if we ripped ours off from anybody or not. That one doesn't belong here. This one belongs over here. Okay. I want to make sure I get everything in the right place so I know what came from where. Okay, here's his letter. First of all, I apologize for typing this out. I tried to handwrite you one, but my handwriting is major shit. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dylan, last name. I live in southwest Florida, and I'm 15 years old. Now, that's what I like about this, that any age person can um, participate here. And that's what it's about. Um, exactly like I said, if you don't have any um, credit cards or PayPal accounts, or, you know, it sucks. So everybody who is younger can get right in on this, boom, transaction taken care of, and you get it. You don't have to ask parents or nothing. Just get it done. Ah, good tea. Okay, so he's 15 years old. I've played guitar for about three years. I first stumbled on your channel about five months ago when I was watching guitar videos. And saw a thumbnail of your face in the suggested videos. The first video I saw of you was the dumb motherfucker video. <laughs> Uh, what an introduction to you, my friend. <laughs> anyway, Scott, you have helped shape me into a better guitarist and actually um, learn what the guitar is. As far as the science of it, I also want to thank you for um, turning me into a PV addict. <laughs> After watching many of your videos and hearing you talk about PV, I went on eBay and got a 1981 PVT30. And those are cool. Um, he says right here, it's a cool short scale. 20 fret monster, very cool. They are, those are so cool. The three single coil ferrite pickups, yeah. Uh, thank you for showing me, and I'm sure many others, how cool these PV axes are. And they really are, dudes. Uh, Scott, you have a true heart of gold and a passion for what you do, and that makes you truly a groovy dude. Thank you, dude. Also, keep making your videos as long as you want. You're just a cool dude to hang out with. Um, over YouTube. It's always great to see some videos and just have a cool time. Um, now that's what I appreciate right there because you know I'm not like anybody else that's for sure but I just I'm not here to try to sell you something you know I always throw the website and stuff there but um, it's mainly the free lessons, free lessons, free lessons if you happen to buy them later cool but um, yeah it's just a hangout thing and um, the lessons that you all will be receiving still feels like you're just hanging out with me. You know, I don't make them so formal that it's no fun. You know, but, you know, they get down to business, but they're still just like hanging out here. So, that's what I was always setting out to do, was create that type of a thing. Okay, here comes the thing about the dollar that bought from Bahamas. In the sleeve, I have shipped this in. I have included a one, uh, included one Bahama dollar. My family went to the Bahamas a few years ago and brought this back. Also included in the sleeve, um, you now have fan art. I don't know if I'm the first to sketch a picture of you. Yes, you are. Uh, but it's in there, a sketch of your face from your Google account. Compare it with the picture I included. And that was great, man. I love it. Um, thank you for your lesson, Scott. Cannot wait to get into some of the slide stuff. Oh, that's great. Okay. Oh, and thank you for everything you have done for the guitar community, Scott Grove. You, ha you have an awesome, no-bullshit attitude towards the facts of guitars. Keep it up, Dylan. P.S. Here's a kiss font of your name. I love that. <laughs> I gotta get the... There's a... Uh, Oh, what's the guy's name? Uh, I can't remember his name. He does reviews of all the Kiss albums. I think he goes by the name of Dr. Fuck. 
<laughs> but he's cool to check out. He finally got his KISS font for his videos, you know, like halfway through reviewing all the KISS albums. And he tells me, yeah, PC format to here. And, and thanks again, Scott Grove. Much love. Keep it groovy. Um, so everything I need is here. And I love the, I love the art, man. That is cool. So thank you so much, Dylan. You rock, dude. This stuff's great, guys. And no, I won't let the wife get to me and tell me you don't have time for everything, because I have time. I will make time always. Even if I never make another lesson again, I'll keep this going. Right here from Australia, this thing was 30 bucks to ship. So, if that tells you anything, um, when I normally charge the $49.95 for these downloads, and it costs that much, Australia is one of the most expensive places um, to get stuff to and from. And those poor guys over there trying to buy guitars from over here and get them sent. Most people won't even send them. But <laughs> this is great. Going right to my gut again. <laughs> That's great. I've got like a vending machine going on in here. <laughs> oh, let's just check out the hall first. And these are things I, I don't know if, since 1891. Frogs alive. <laughs> we have big gummy frogs here. Best before December 9, uh, 2014. God, where are these made at? Yeah, Australia. This is cool. I get to eat a bunch of junk I never had before. This is neat. Minties. Again, they've got their Australian website down here at the bottom. Yeah, everything on the back here, you know, is from Australia. Yeah, we got a Nestle thing up here, but these are, of course, Australian confections. Jaffa's chocolate orange in a crisp shell. <laughs> these are great. I actually get to end. It's from all these are from Allen's, which are a division of Nestle. Da, 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 da. Get them in there. Okay. So I get to eat a bunch of stuff I've never had before, which will be cool. No jokes on that one. Well, you can put jokes in there. The Violet Crumble. Now, this is fun. I mean, it's like getting to eat a perfect stranger from another land. The stuff you guys come up with, it's, it's great. Butter menthol. Oh, I have lozenges here. So when my voice is all ragged from screaming the way I do instead of singing properly, I can take care of myself. Very cool, dude. And there is just more and more and more and more and more stuff in here. I'll get the last of the uh, ED stuff out. Tim Tam. It's the most irresistible chocolate biscuit. And again, I'm not familiar with any of these. But what am I going to do? Yep, I'm going to shove these groceries right down my neck. <laughs> uh, great stuff. Holy cow. I'm going to dig everything else out of the box. And there should be a letter. I got a letter right here. Okay, I have. Dun, da, da, da. Like you can check me out. Is I, am I sexy? <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. So I have a f my flag. That is cool. Now I can get all the. 
how do I hang it? You'll tell me. Tell me the proper way to hang it and I will not let it hit the floor either. In case, I'm sure it's a worldwide thing where you don't want things hitting the ground. And, oh, I've also got an Australian bumper sticker right here. So it looks like it's probably going to go this way. Just because it's, so I had it right. With, I answered my own question. I will put that on the car because it will be one of the only things holding that 300,000 mile piece of crap together. So I have an Australian bumper sticker and I have more Australian stickers. Dude, these are great. I can put these on all kinds of things. And they're, they're shiny. See, we got the foil stuff. There's two packs of them. So dude, awesome. Thank you so very much. I am, these will be, most of them probably chugged down tonight when I'm still learning songs and going over songs. Let's see what he writes. Let's see. Again, da -da 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 -da. I want to get this all correct. Because it didn't have, yep, yeah, didn't have the name on the other thing, but it is on the inside. So this is from Brian, again over in um, Australia. Dude, this is cool. Okay, this was done the day before Valentine's Day. Once again, okay, it says, hey, hey, Scott, Dr. Groovy. Uh, once again, cool idea on the trade, dude. So as agreed nearly a kilo or 2.2 pounds of you guys of pure Aussie tooth rot <laughs> for you to enjoy. Enjoy the Tim Tams as well. Um, there is a special method for eating them called a Tim Tam Slam. Hoping to even see a video. Okay, we'll do it. You got to bite off the opposite corners, put one end and a cup of tea or coffee, suck the drink through like a straw, once you have some liquid through, put the whole thing in your mouth and eat. Experience heaven. I'll do it. I'll, I'll have it all dripping down me and I'll, I'll, I'll film that for you, my friend. Uh, the butter menthols are a strange little lump of candy as well. They're really good for those days when the old throat feels a little rough. Suck on one for a while and you should, and you should be sorted. I love them. Be careful when eating the minties. If you have fillings in your teeth, okay. <laughs> Those motherfuckers will destroy any dentistry you have had. <laughs> and <laughs> laugh at you if you aren't careful. <laughs> um, I threw a few Australian stickers in for you as well and a flag that you can hang in the dungeon. I will do that. I have a little side business here of doing basic repairs and setups mainly for friends who don't have the confidence to do this stuff doesn't make me any real money but I get to play with all kinds of guitars and amps so I enjoy it there you go I just finished watching your latest dumb motherfucker video man I nearly pissed myself laughing that's what it's about it's about having a good time um, I have uh, the same arguments here with friends about doing guitar setups and the playing position very much so uh, I admit I do a lot of the fret work on the bench but I have a sandbag which I rest the neck on, which is good, uh, which supports the whole neck. That's the key. Um, I never intonate tune or set action while it is lying down. Good man. Why would you set it up to play in a position that it's never played in? My point exactly. Very good. Um, had a few funny looks as well when I have uh, replaced nuts on acoustics and cut the slots at an angle. Uh, you were right. There are some dumb motherfuckers out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you won't see a you won't see an angled slot hardly on any guitar in the world. It's crazy, isn't it? Apologies for the hand typed letter, but my handwriting handwriting is atrocious as is mine, <laughs> and I can guarantee you would not have been able to read it. Still enjoying your bass lessons here, working my way through uh, the beginner stuff, but. So looking forward to having a go at your other lessons. Might have a go and get me some new toys. That's what it's all about, dude.
And then very next thing he says, well, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I hope you're well. I'm trying, my friend. Um, can't be easy being ill all the time. Uh, I think all the sugar I'm sending you will preserve your body for some time to come. <laughs> so if I do croak, hey, I'll be, I'll be mummatized and be looking good like old King Tutankhamun or King Tut. So. Uh, keep making the videos, keep making me laugh, and keep keeping it real, brother. Keep in touch, Brian. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's awesome. So, some uh, major tooth rot by uh, my man from down under, Brian. You rock, man. Appreciate it. And I will get your lessons right out, and you're just going to have a blast. And oh, Sounds like my phone's ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, it's my sister on the phone, but let's see. I hear the ma answering machine in there. Her husband just passed away about a month ago. I hear her talking. I need to give her a call back because I've got to call my sis. I haven't called anybody in my family since Christmas, I don't think. Okay, I'm opening up another thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut my sugar fix. <laughs> package short but thanks again for that and yes as I've mentioned before I had extensive work done on my teeth and braces and crowns and root canals and all that so but for you I will destroy it and I will eat your stuff as instructed to do so okay so right here we have just to show John how his package arrived, thanks to the Postal Service, um, from Illinois. I know exactly where this place, town is. Being that I'm originally from Indiana, we have a sack from the Chicago Music Exchange. I actually bought one, my first Gene Simmons, actually, my first real Kramer six-string axe from there. And, oh, wow. No. I have swag. Dude. Yeah, so I gave Chicago Music Exchange 10 grand for that guitar. Check this out, brand new stuff, dudes. How's that? These shirts are heavy duty too and well made. Man, thank you. And reverse side. Awesome. Thank you, dude. God, we got... I like always checking out the lighting. <laughs> I'm the guy who goes to concerts just to see the setup. I give a shit about what the band's about. I'm always checking out the gear and the rigs and how the video screens are set up and how the lighting rigs are done and always checking out the processing and the FOH stuff, front of house system. Thank you. Yeah, there's another one in here. <laughs> He's like, I know, but nobody else does. Um, also, brand spanking new. Da, 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 da. How is that? So if you guys go online, you'll see from... Go to Chicago Music Exchange on their website. And... Da, 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 da. Or just even go on YouTube right here. Put Chicago Music Exchange and put Axe or Gene Simmons or whatever at the same time. And you'll see a great video that they did on the guitar that I bought of the Gene Simmons Axe six string um, guitar. Not the bass. And here's an envelope with... Some kind of rounded stuff in it. Meaning what? It's round. I feel it right here. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and there's gotta be, there's the letter. Okay, I'll show you the other couple items in here. And then he'll probably explain them to us. Let's see. Special warfare. <laughs> Get this in here. I 
I love that. And this here, for anybody looking out there, feels much like a um, gaming token almost. And we will learn about these shortly in the letter, as I'm sure. Yeah, I just see. Pardon me while I look. Okay, that is very cool. Ooh. Dude. Look at this. Now this is heavy duty coinage here. This isn't just anything. This is heavy duty. This is heavy metal, dudes. In Chicago. So this is actually, yeah, this kind of stuff. Very heavy. But check this out. Is that cool or what? Man, thank you, dude. That is awesome. Again, you folks are... surprising the heck out of me every day with what shows up. And I, there's just not enough thanks to say. Okay, here's from John. Um... But I hope you enjoy the shirts. I definitely will. They came from a couple really popular places in Chicago. Chicago Music Exchange is where I got my Gibson S1. Man, I gotta get another S1. I'm going nuts without them. I had like 14 of them before I sold them all this earlier last year. I gotta get another one. I know you like coins, so I sent you a different type of coin. Yes, it's called a challenge coin. They are usually handed out by senior enlisted officer, senior enlisted and officers, to the troops for special recognition of a job well done. I am an Iraqi freedom veteran. Thank you. And the metal coin was uh, um, one of a few given to me on my return home. The seal coin was given to me by. One of my best friends, um, currently deployed. I'm giving you these coins for your job well done. Dude, that's great. And offerings in this trade. I can't wait to soak up the knowledge. I have a Mac, so uh, it makes a difference for those links. So Mac stuff coming your way, my friend. And his info to send them to him. So John and you rock. And I hope you're loving your S1 as much as I loved all mine. I have to get another one back. Um, I've noticed I've been buying the guitars that I let go that I love the most. I've been buying them again. Uh, just to have one of, you know, ones I had multiples of. Yeah, I should have kept, you know, my favorite of all. But, yeah, the S1 is one of the most unsung, amazing Gibson guitars ever made. Again, and thanks to... Um, Bill Lawrence for designing all that stuff. Uh, Gibson gave him um, a very tight budget on all the guitars, so you know, first thing he did was bolt on necks so he could make better pickups and better circuitry, which he did. And you won't have a good, they, they don't buzz, <laughs> you know. So there was hum canceling on every single position of those guitars, and fendery sounding and whatever sounding, but just some of the most amazing guitars ever made. So the S1 is easily, easily one of my favorite Gibson guitars of all time. Those and the, uh, still like the Marauder and the um, Corvus 3 and the Challenger 3. And again, they're all the Norlin Ears, Bill Lawrence designed guitars. I got my Gibson G3 bass, another one up there, which I bought again to take place of my old one. So I'm glad you got one and hope you love it as much as I do. Um, here's our final one today, coming from, I'm gonna wait for a first name because I don't wanna get, give last names out on here. People deserve privacy, except for some people, I just roll their name right out there, especially when they're, like my buddy James Sanders, who wrote, you know, that's 
his screen name on <laughs> um, right here on YouTube, so might as well be able to say it if you're going to give it out there. Okay, this is from Casey. I can go ahead and give a first name now. And coming from Arizona. And your package arrived fine. <laughs> it was one of the only ones that weren't damaged, but nothing, nothing was damaged at all. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, I remember this, and I've been looking forward to it. And I'm going to have some fun with this already. Um, just because I can't. <laughs> now, th this is cool. Um, you guys, here, here's just a short little letter, and then we're out of here. Um, Scott, thanks for accepting my piece of the wall. No, not Pink Floyd. I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoy it. No, I will enjoy your lessons as you already do, uh, as, our, as I already do the YouTube ones. Take care, Casey. And email, and easy to get to. Um, yeah, a piece of the Berlin Wall. Okay, so you actually have it in here. Okay, now the part I want you guys to enjoy, okay, this part here is actually part of the painted end of it, side. Okay, so that's cool. It's not just a crumbled center section. So here's part of it that was actually painted. The rest of the inside, you know, back in here. Now here, here's what I wanted to have some fun with. Look there. Casey got excited. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> That's just to hold it in there. Same with on the front. <laughs> a, little, a little coos in the corners. <laughs> Somebody was excited over that rock. <laughs> No, but from the Great Wall, man, right there, or the, the Berlin Wall. I'm sorry, not the Great Wall of China, but the Berlin Wall. Um, I don't know if you can see it, it's bluish green and it's got some yellow in there, so it's been painted over um, a few times over all them years before they broke that sucker down. So I now I have a piece of the rock, Prudential. So thank you very, very much. And again, that's from um, Casey. And I will get your lessons right out. That is awesome. And it's, you know, just historic as all get out. So, um, what can I say? Just thank you. And a, one language, language, language outside. Good old American English this side, but that is just too neat and one of those things that you always wish you would have got back when, and you never did. So, thanks to all of you for um, everything as always. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this going. I've got um, probably another f God. I, I don't even know. Maybe maybe close to a hundred. Um, more letters that came in just in the last two days that I will have to get to either tonight or tomorrow. Depends on totally on how much I'm getting done on this band thing. Once Thursday is gone and I've rehearsed and all that mess is out of the way, then I'll be able to get back to concentrating more on more on <laughs> uh, everything else. So again, thanks for all your trades, and I'm going to be eating like crazy and sporting my new duds and rocking and checking out the, the fundage that everybody has sent and just the wonderful gifts. Um, again, just can't thank you enough. And um, this was a lot, of, a lot of fun for me and I know everybody else are enjoying these videos as well. Just like um, one of my buddies here says, just hanging out, it's, you know, no selling anything. It's just doing some good old horse trading, which is a lost way of doing things. Once again, for anybody that doesn't know, Arizona green tea diet with ginseng and caffeine free. Um, I leave these next to the bed at night and when I wake up, usually 10 to 12 hours later, I continue to drink it even though there's stuff floating in the bottom of it. <laughs> so it don't matter what temperature it's at, I drink it. So you were talking about 
um, my buddy over here who gave me all my fun uh, tooth rotting stuff to sip my beverage through it'll probably be with this so um, that's gonna be fun <laughs> It's kind of like having to learn how to do a shot. First you set it on fire and then you slam it back after you put your hair out then. <laughs> so again, thanks for all the um, trades guys. You guys rock in. The shirts are amazing. Um, high quality stuff and the, the um, naval coins too. That, that's too cool man. That's, that's what you call paying it forward right there. So uh, extremely proud to own that. And the artwork, uh, first picture I've had drawing of me that looks like a person, except for Emma. Um, just great stuff, man. You guys are just wonderful. So thanks for being a part of my groovy little corner of the internet. I appreciate y'all so, so much. And uh, my wife's like, God, you're going to need to rent a storage shed to put all the stuff in. It's like, so? I will. <laughs> so, I'm not stopping it. It's, it's going to continue and continue as long as um, anybody has a need for this to happen. And I need it to happen. It's, it's a great way to just meet people and a great way to say thanks. And again, for my 15-year-old friend here, it's a great way for those folks which are Another reason I intended to do this was just, you know, so they can get things too without having to ask anybody. And sometimes not everybody is supportive as other people, you know, when it comes to things. So um, you're going to get some of the best lessons you've ever had. And um, all at your doing, you know, so you didn't have to ask anybody. You didn't have to have credit or any of that crap yet. You're too young to worry about that stuff. So you did it on your own, so be proud. And you guys be groovy. I'm going go in there and um, start eating some of this stuff and start working on some more songs again and call my sister back, I guess. <laughs> and um, talk to you guys in a day or two, okay? Best wishes. Be groovy. Bye-bye.